What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego vintage movie camera complete with two spinning reels of film. This vintage film camera is a perfect addition to your minifigure scale movie studios, film sets and broadcast centers and it even includes this really neat functional addition with the two reels of film mounted on top of the camera which actually spin around as if the camera is recording onto the film and what's extra cool is that the reels are powered by two Technic rubber bands which makes it look like the reels are actually feeding into the camera as they spin around on top. Plus I've even included a hatch on the side which can be opened up to access the reels of film inside. And on top of that I've also decorated this vintage movie camera with plenty of other realistic details in the design. So let's get started and take a look at all of the pieces you're going to need to build your working Lego movie camera. So here's what you're going to need and as always I'll leave links in the description to where you can find the rarer pieces which I've used such as these printed tape roll tiles which really enhance the build as well as other rare pieces like these Lego Technic rubber bands. So once you've collected all of your pieces we can begin first by building the stand that the vintage movie camera will sit on. So we will use this Technic brick as well as a couple of 1x1 Technic pins with a stud attachment on end and then that can be plugged into this 1x6 half lift arm just like that and on the other side you can place a Lego tap piece so just hold that in place for the time being and we'll secure that to a small base which we'll use a 1x2 jumper plate on top of a 2x2 plate and that is what will secure that little tap piece in place and you'll see that will go just about halfway onto the top of that stud and that won't move around and that just creates a little nice stand for your camera. Next we can take this T-shaped Technic lift arm and begin filling it in with some more of these 1x1 one one pins with the stud attachment on the end. So just clip two in there and flip that around and clip another two over on the other side and this is where we'll attach the reels of tape. So that can be clipped to the top of this lift arm just like this. So you should have a one stud gap in the middle and in that gap we will fill it in with this one by one brick with the studs on two sides. So just clip that so that's nice and straight and even in the middle. You might need to adjust it just a fraction but that's looking pretty good for now. And next we'll continue building up the actual mechanism which we'll use this one by seven axle with this handle piece and then a 1x2 connector to act as a spinning handle. Then take this half Technic bush and slide it through to just about there. So then you can take this and push that all the way through until you have about a one stud space or however much space you need to attach this full sized Technic bush. And that is where the rubber bands will rest on when we attach those. So in order to do that we'll need to build up each of the tapes and these are just a simple design since these are the old style 2x2 tiles you have to attach a 2x2 plate on the bottom so that you have that 1x1 stud attachment in the end and just clip a couple of regular studs in the back of those and your tapes should be good to go. So there you go you have each of your tapes and now the way we attach them along with the rubber bands is you first thread the rubber band underneath that Technic bush and then over the top of the back of the stud like this and then you clip the stud to that pin attachment and you'll see when we turn it around the rubber band is in turn moved and that in turn spins the reel of tape or the reel of film seeing as this is a movie camera. So that's a very cool design and we can do the same with the other rubber band. 
So with this one, simply layer that on the top of the other one. Then hold that in place, attach the second stud to the back like this, and then clip that over the top. Just make sure that it's looking like this. You have one of the rubber bands at the back and one on the top. And now when you spin it around, both of the tapes should spin round. And that's how you create the little moving functional film reel effect on the camera. So we're almost done. All that's left to do is just to make it look a bit more like a camera. So we can do this with two 2x2 two two tiles and some 2x2 two two corner plates underneath of those. Then stick them on either side of this 1x1 one one brick. So clip one just like this in edge. And you'll see that's why we're using this corner plate. So it has that cut out for the rubber band to continue along uninterrupted. Just like that. And then on this side, we can add the camera lens, which will use this black Lego Fez piece, a transparent one by one stud to go on that. And then this little one by one plate with the bar attachment, and that will be clipped in this direction. Then that can all go onto that end of the camera, just onto that two by two tile. Then for this middle bit, we can cover that up with a small cover, which will use this 1x2 modified plate with the bar, and this 1x1 plate with the bar, to act as a little eye hole where the minifigures can see what they're filming. And then to create a little hinge mechanism for this, basically we'll need to attach this 1x1 stud with the hole backwards onto this clip piece, and that will in turn be clipped into the middle of that brick right there. So just press that down until that's nice and secured, like that. And make sure that's not in too far, just about there. And you can always adjust that a bit later. So you see it's a bit too far of a gap. So you can just wiggle that in, bring that closer. And now we have a little access hatch where you can change out the reels of film inside your vintage movie camera. And with that, your working LEGO Vintage Movie Camera is complete. I hope you enjoyed building it, and if you did, then let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel, so you always know when my latest videos are available. A big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon, and if you'd like to see your name here in the credits, as well as get access to a whole bunch of exciting bonus videos, and exclusive behind the scenes content, then you too can support me on Patreon, and the link to that will be in the description below. I'll see you guys next time with more LEGO creations, and thanks for watching.